close. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> take so much. I just wanted to say it again. I know. I know, I know. Thanks. Very nice to meet you, young lady. Um, nice meeting you. Um, yeah, nice to meet you. How, how are you feeling today? Feeling very amazing. Nice. That's very good. Um, should I quit chunk of those hacks, man? No, on a serious note, I just <coughs> I want to know. Okay. But I'm sure you may have a, a question you want to ask me or something. So, well, the number one question I wanted to ask was, um, how how is it mixing? I know you studied law, mm. so how is it mixing law and music? Mm. Well, how was it for your parents? Like when you when you told your parents you wanted to do music after all the money they've spent <laughs> sending you to my school. education? Yeah, I know, I know. Yes, it's a bit of a shocker. Um. When I first told my parents, I mean, it was... Your dad, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of shocks. A lot. But my dad was, um, my dad was not, I mean, he was never really, like, against it, you know. He was always supportive from the beginning. Even my mom, but um, the only thing they said was, stay in school. Um, you know, make sure that you finish your studies. And uh, at the end of your studies, you can't do anything that you wish. Yeah, my friend protects hard, a big egg yuck. So tell me, do you care for? Oh, Benny. Oh, Lord, I love you, I love you. Go shame, go come here. Go mark and say me. To back, he send away. Yes, I can't me. To that he get for the explorer. Me ready. Let's discuss. My mom said she had high blood pressure. Yes. My mom said no. She said, go need, go, go, go feed, eh? Wow. She just didn't want me to do it. But wow. because she thought, there wasn't financial stability. Ah, right. Until my sister and then. Mm, I know what's me. They just think that, okay, musician, rascal, you know. One day, my mom called me at like 12. And I was, I'd been in the studio all night. So, you know, most we sleep in the day and work at night most times. And she said, I'm worried for you. I mm. said, why? yes, son, you more so I see your life to sleep. I mean, what is going on? Wow. But now it's a different story. So. Mm. That's nice. I saw your mom on your Instagram one day, like such a, <laughs> such an interesting post. So funny. So you did the bag of this one. So funny. <laughs> so oh my wow. If that I mean, that really hit me. Hit me so much. One uh, more fake Jaycee. Mm. She my hey Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. See my man, my more fake go. She. That leads me to my next question. What I know what you're about to ask. What are you on? What do you like? What do you like to see? Music. <laughs> no, leave music, okay? <laughs> we are both doing music. You also, <laughs> told me, you also told me, I need to you to tell me, maybe you see a counterpart, somebody. <laughs> let, no, I'm, whoa, whoa. let me focus on what I'm saying. Why did you do this to let, me today? Let me focus on what I'm saying. <laughs> maybe you see a counterpart. Somebody so sweet, so nice, and your body is doing it somehow. What is that thing that you see in that person that make your body so do it like this? Well, for me, it's it's hair. Mm, intellect. Yeah, man. Sapiosexual. Sapio, getting you, getting you. Yeah. But apart we have from to have, we have to be we have to be able to have conversations that you know take me a little upstairs. The conversation left. The conversation <laughs> left. <laughs> if I open your head, yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, me, I can see my end. No, if I, no, I can don't tell you what makes me happy. No, but that one, that one. Oh, no. oh, yeah. You don't make me, make me. So, apart from intellect, let's live in intellect. Intelligence is nice, understand. I like somebody that has sense, but generally speaking, physically speaking, your physical attributes, okay. Me, I like highs. Dimples. Dimples. Who like muzu? No, really. I'm really a fan of muzu like that. Muzu. Three minutes is park. Mustache. Mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me, please. Money rara on the shebole kibo. Money rara on kulam sile fa, you know. But I, I don't know nothing. So, how hard was it to break in? Hmm. Like, how hard was it for people to now say, Fouls is blown? What was that song? And. When you were telling me the experience when you were recording it, did you know it was a hit? Tell us. I don't even think it was one song. I think it was a period of time um, with quite a few things going on around that time. But, um, excuse me, it was, it was quite tough. It's never easy. 
So, you know, I, I've been pushing since like 2009. I've been releasing music, I've been putting out stuff. Where, in 2009, where are you? I just finished secondary school. Wow. What's your age? Okay, we'll, no, we'll discuss later. Okay. When we leave, when yeah. we left here. Yeah, of course. We'll discuss later. But, um, yeah, I've been pushing pushing since then. But, like, not until maybe, like, 2015. Wait, hold on. 15, man. 2015, man. That was 2009. That was uh, six ish. Eight. And you didn't stop? Never stop. So, six years, you were still underground. Pushing underground. Nobody. I mean, at, at the same time, I was in, I was studying as well. So, okay. that okay. sort of also took, kept took me, time. yeah, kept me grounded. You know, I was in the university studying to become a barrister of course so when did you finish finished 2010. you finished university in 2010. That's correct. that means it took you extra five years that's correct to finally blow yeah that's if i can even say that was the final so blow. what song what song did it now it was a period of time and let me tell you it was a period of time where i began to showcase rascality on the internet yeah yay so you used social media as a tool. Amazing. In fact, that is a past, proper, appropriate definition of the hangover I used to hint at. And um, at that time, the song that I can say was popping for me was uh, Marry Me featuring Yemi Aladi and Paul. 2015, end of 2015. I had just dropped my first album, What's Up Guy? Um, Marry Me was on that album. That did good. Yeah. And then I put out uh, the visuals for Marry Me featuring Yemi Aladi and Paul. So that was popping. At the same time, I was becoming more of a well-known rascal on the internet so people are like who is this guy what is he what is going on what is going on so that i think attracted a lot of people to the brand and you know wanting to know more about who files was hello auntie auntie please i want to beg you one favor please i don't know if you have any one million naira that you are not using auntie please i will need it i beg you in the name of almighty please i will return it she caught the line so tell me most people they are wondering how they they want to know because I need your personal life, your love life. Who's your my friend? I'm serious. Kill and share. Oh, who's your boyfriend? Let's know. Well, what we've been dating for a while, and I, you know him. Wow. Yeah. Who is it? Chelsea. I don't know. If... No. I'm okay to hear you though. I don't mind. Kai? Wow. Oh, we haven't really talked about talking to public, but. It's okay. Me and. Me and Wiz, boy, don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> I, and I thought maybe you are really going to give me one. <laughs> give me something. I need something. Who is the person? It's me and Wiz. What this is, but you just don't know what this is. I mean, the person that know, the person that consent. There's no other person. It's just this kid, but you just don't know that what this is. In real life. In real life, in the dream, in everywhere, every aspect is this kid. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Have you ever hmm. broken a girl's heart? Have you ever cheated? Don't lie now. Facts. We both know you have. You asked me a question. You asked that. Because I know it's true. You know, don't lie. Look, um, because you are a ladies' man. For a very long time, I've not had a girlfriend, so I haven't actually cheated. Okay, so uh, I'm I, like I've only had one. I mean, one and a half different. Okay, so how many girls have you talked to? Like, do you talk to only one? Like, how long do you talk to a girl for? Uh -huh. Okay, tell me about the girl that you have liked and have thought uh, I will marry her. No girl. Because I don't really think about marriage like that. But I've liked girls, definitely. And you know Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't thought of marrying any girl, like you see a girl and okay, another girl I don't know, you must give me a correct answer. <laughs> tell I'll me come back so to you what is wife what is wife material to you? The attributes of my ideal wife. Huh, wow. Thank you very much for that question. I believe it's somebody that I do compliments on every way. Somebody that at least your character do match in every way. At least somebody that as you are talking, as you are 
as you are, you know, relating with each other, you find that the two people do is a perfect match. Uh, Upstairs. Haiku, very important. Kanata, very important. You know, I, I believe that's that's. So I have two more questions to ask you. Okay. In the same context. I also have my own. No, you have you have run out. No, who says that? No. This man, I'm closing the job. What's wait, the, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, before wait, you close the job, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, what's the wait, 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 no, I'm not being with you, like, wait, like, wait, wait, what's the character? Wait, what's your what? Wait, does religion matter? No. So if she's Muslim, traditional worshiper, it doesn't matter as long as she's a Christian. Nothing matters to me. Religion or uh, sexual orientation or no, actually, well, she will need to be attracted to me, of course. But so I have one last question: What if your wife has your pass the your online banking, and she's been trying to reach you? She wants to buy something. She liked it. She's been trying to reach you, and your phone was off. She went and took thirty thousand dollars to buy a bag. What would you do? Your wife, the mother of your kids. In the first instant, <laughs> in the first instant, I think if I don't want her to have the money, she will not have my online banking. If I don't want her to have the money, so maybe that's a joint account. Okay, so you'll be okay if your wife used thirty thousand dollars to buy a bag. If it's a joint account, she will not even be able to use it because we need to sign together. So you're saying your wife will not have access to your personal account. She will have her own personal, which I will not have access to as well. So it's equal. Then we'll not have joint. Because you know some Nigerian men to. hide a lot of things from their wives, like documents, land documents, all those things. Are you going to be... I don't okay? think you should hide anything from your wife. Um, but that doesn't mean that you should share account. I believe a woman is her own person. Me, I am my own person. So we have one personal, she have one personal, we also have one joint. Can have multiple joints, eh? it doesn't have to be only one. Can have multiple joints, but then we should also have personal, personal. Let me now hack soon. Oh, that's it. So, hey, so no, thank you, you very much. Oh, hey. Thank you for before, having us the show on this journey. Uh, if you like, you can do your outro. Tune in. The show have no <laughs> Let me ask you, what is your Heidi, um, your Heidi husband? I'm just, I'm only reciprocating. What do you see in here? Heidi husband. It is to left, right. Center. Oh, I mean, character wise, still, still, still. Well, upstairs. Mm. I mean, because I feel like who you marry, apart who you end from, up marrying, apart from us, upstairs. Mm. Go upstairs, who you does me? Apart from upstairs, <laughs> tell me what is the scene, Heidi Oswald? We'll talk about this on the next show. <laughs> it can be physical features. It can be um we like bicep. Confidence. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. That's a very good one. You have to be able to talk to me. I mean What about ambition? Talovel of any deal in the ambition. So I will suffer. Mm. I can't suffer now. I've worked mm. hard. You know, you have to marry as I said, marriage is very, very hard and a lot of Nigerians put pressure on people to get married. Well, by the age of 25, you have to be married. If you're not married at the age of 25, your life is useless. You want to, want to, but there are a lot of people in marriages that are not happy. So you're not with someone right now? I'm very single. At what age do you think you're going to get married? I don't know. You never think about marriage? Just dabare you told that. What do you want your mother to say when she watched this interview? She will not watch it. But my mother, I left to my mother. I'm supposed to be in my husband's house by now. Already, okay. Okay, so you don't think about marriage. So you don't want to. Tenny doesn't want to get married. That's not true. <laughs> that is not correct. So a lot. So, <laughs> so when do you want to get married? Let us know. When what do you want, want to get married? What age? Personally, don't deflect. Okay. No, yeah. wait. No, when do you want to get married? Personally, like I said, hello. Let maybe, me maybe when when I find the right person. Okay. However long it takes. Okay. I don't want to be unhappy. Okay. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. At the right time, when the Almighty says this issue happen, it will happen. Um, that brings us to the end of this segment. We are nothing but pencils in the hands of the Creator. To God be the glory. Thank you.